Now, answering the call with Nick Vandergrat. November 1914. General Sam Hughes has just finished greeting the first Canadians to reach England to help Britain in their struggle against the Germans. He has a reputation of wild mood swings, irrational behavior, and a long list of eccentricities that lead most to know him to think he's certifiably insane. None of that matters now. Hughes has decided long ago that Canadians will fight as a unit instead of being broken up for the British Army. He pays a call to the head of the English ground forces at his wartime office in London. Sam squares off against the living legend, the highly decorated hero, Lord Kitchener himself. His opinion of the Canadian troops is that they're no better than raw recruits with little or no training. Their only usefulness is to be reinforcements for the British Army. Kitchener stares at Hughes with steel blue eyes and tells him in no uncertain terms how he intends to use the men from Canada. Hughes does not hold back. Sir, do I understand you to say you will break up these Canadian regiments that came over? Why, it would kill recruiting in Canada. Kitchener responds. You have your orders. Carry them out. Sam's face goes deep red. I'll be damned if I will. He stomps out of the office, ensuring that Canada will have its army and the army will have its Vimy Ridge. More than any other man, Hughes is responsible for setting the stage for the battle that allows Canada to come of age. General Sir Sam Hughes, one of the most colorful and eccentric Canadians that ever answers the call.